Hey everyone, welcome to my squash plot for 2021. Uh, this year I am endeavoring a breeding project with um, Moshata species. And essentially it is a selection project where I am introducing um, a lot of different genetics from all over the world that uh, retain different um, resistances to say pests and diseases and have different qualities of the fruit and in, in hopes to select a variety that is uh, resilient against the squash bug. So I'm with a squash right now uh, that's called, that we're calling Molina. It's a land race from Georgia that a lady through Instagram sent me. And um, I just was sorting through them. I'm selecting out of, I planted like five per mound and I'm just selecting out. And I noticed this one had a really weak stem. And lo and behold, I picked it up because I was like, that looks really bad. And there's there are guys mating. So this is a project that essentially does not uh, kill the bugs. We are going to use these allies as um, creatures to evolve with. And essentially that means that we're not gonna use controls, we're not gonna tarp. I mean, we're not going to use um, different like remays or, or growing fabrics to stop these from touching the plants. We are going to try to see what genetics pop up out of my plantings that contain innate resistance. So uh, last year I grew Thai King Cobb, Seminole Pumpkin, an Ozark Cheese, um, a land race from Mexico called Rancho Marquez, and a few other squash. Oh, he's peeing on me or something. That was gross. And uh, I had great success with those genetics. So some of the plants that I'm growing here are already those um, F1 crosses. And um, we've got, you know, lots of hives on our land. So they're basically just, you know, promiscuous pollination and crossing at will. I'm not doing any crosses. And there are the pups joining us. Oh, and there's another bug. Great. So this is actually the um, Thai King Cobb, which probably has genetics of Seminole and the Ozark cheese in it as well. And last year, um, I got a lot of fruit actually. So um, I got a SARE grant this year to continue my research. And this plot here is 50 squash and it contains, I think seven different varieties. And I've got uh, 50 more at home. And um, basically we're just gonna see what natural selection produces this year. If a plant shows a lot of squash bug damage and uh, can't keep going, we will cull it so that it does not uh, contribute pollen this year. But other than that, we are in our third, three and a half weeks in from the planting and it is June 8th. So uh, everything looks pretty good so far. Um, it was, it was, it's been kind of a wet year. So I've been really uh, intrigued at the differences. You just saw the Thai King Cobb. I think this is um, a South Anna that I saved. And look, I mean, that one does not look very good, right? So I am taking little guys, but still leaving some so that just in case, you know, anything happens to my plants, I don't lose them. Um, but yeah, we, I'm very excited about this. I'm really inspired by Joseph Lofthouse's land race projects where he's in his um, mountainous climate in Utah has reduced the season of his Mashada squash to I think like 80, 82, 85 days. <clears throat> and I am growing some Lofthouse squash here, which is a land race. So in years to come, it will be very intriguing what happens out of um, this land race that I'm creating, which will be an Ozark land race. Many people around here can't even grow squash because the squash bugs are so bad. And in all of the common literature, there has been no squash um, breeding in relation to squash bugs. People still, you know, cover the plants or plant successions after the plants die or use chemical or other controls to kill the squash bugs or me mechanical to just go squish them. And really, you know, I'd like to see what genetics, what we can find in the genetic pool um, that pops up. So that's my project for this year. I will keep you all updated. I am along with the um, tomato, little bit of tomato breeding that I'm doing this year. This is the main thing that I'm really stoked about. And um, so stay tuned, all right?